Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about one of the luckiest symbols in palmistry, the lotus symbol. We're going to look at how it's formed, what it means, its variations at different places on the hand, and other signs it appears with. And we'll even look at some of the signs that it can be confused with as well. We'll also dabble in how to grow this sign on your hand too. Okay, so the lotus symbol in palmistry is the single best sign for good luck, and it also gives an extraordinary amount of wealth and luxury too. The lotus flower is used in Indian mythology all the time as a mythic symbol. Whenever there's a god that represents material wealth, like Lakshmi or Brahma, they'll always have a lotus flower in their hand. In palmistry, to have a lotus flower on your hand is mirroring this symbolism. Now the lotus sign gives good luck, but it'll add to its meaning subtly depending on where it's found on the hand. For example, if it's under the ring finger, then it comes under the influence of the sun, which is a planet that gives fame and recognition. So the lotus here gives luck in becoming famous and well known. The other place it turns up is between the Rahu and Ketu triangles. On the line connected to the lifeline, the Saturn line, and the Mercury line. Here the lotus symbol will add to the benefits of all three lines, so it's going to give you the traditional health, wealth and happiness. And who doesn't want that, right? Here the lotus flower gets activated by the timing on the lifeline. So when you reach the age at which the lotus symbol starts on the lifeline, then you'll start to get the luck from this sign. The lotus sign usually appears with a few different signs, such as the tree, which is a sign that gives strength. The fish, which gives wealth. The Om, which removes karma, and the Yav, which gives happiness and respect. So think of the lotus and its luck as a derivative of the tree's inner strength, the fish's wealth, and the Om's spiritual mastery, and the Yav's contentment. So if you want to develop a lotus on your hand, you first need to cultivate these qualities, and then the lotus will grow on your hand. Now you see why this is such a rare sign. There are a few different signs that can appear like a lotus, but they're different symbols altogether and they're easy to confuse with it. So if you see a lotus on someone's hand, make sure that you aren't confusing it with a drum. Or if you see a lotus, make sure that it isn't a fish. I've done videos on those symbols separately, so if you want to learn about them, then check out the link in the description section below, or go to our channel page. Okay, so here's a pop quiz to make sure that you guys have got it right. Have a look at this hand. This is the hand of one of the people in our palmistry community. So what do you think? Is this a lotus flower? Is it a fish? Is it a drum? Or is it just a bunch of lines that crisscross next to each other without any real meaning? What effect do you think this will have on this person's life? Leave a comment in the section below and let's see if you guys get it. Alright guys, that's a load of symbol. If you want to learn more about palmistry, then hit the like button or subscribe to us. Oh, and one other thing I should mention too, there are a few different variations of the lotus sign, but in this video we're looking at the main one. The other lotus symbols and the pictures to those are in my book, The Dictionary of Indian Palmistry Symbols. So check that out if you want to learn more on the details on this sign. Thanks a lot guys!